it's great to see this work again because in 2005 I did do a treatment and in that case it was removing the surface, the layer of surface dirt and the yellowed varnish. Uh, and it's just an interesting to note about all of the oil sketches of Thompson and, and actually the group of seven that they were never meant to be varnished. Uh, even if we look back to the French Impressionists who were sort of very pushing against the establishment and the academic style of painting in which uh, a painting, the final layer of painting would always be a varnish layer. Uh, so really from that point on, um, if we look in the history of painting, uh, painting stopped being varnished. So when we see actually most of the paintings here still have, um, a couple here still have varnish layer on them, uh, that's because as the paintings were passed from owner to owner or art dealer to art dealer, they would have put on a protective layer of varnish with good intentions, uh, but that varnish has since discolored and yellowed. And of course, with the brilliant col um, color palette of Thompson, it's so important that when it reaches that point where it's, it's yellowed and it's veiling the original colors, that we very carefully remove it. Today I'm using my stereo microscope, which allows me to uh, actually see up to about 40 times magnification, which when you're looking at these very small scale paintings is absolutely essential to detect any instability in the painting. So again, because Tom favored uh, wood panel and they have a very definite wood grain and depending how he's painted on the panel, it can be horizontal or vertical uh, wood grain. We often see uh, a lot of cracking in the paint that follows that wood grain. Uh, Tom also um, didn't really seal his wood panels, so it makes um, that much more apparent in his works. We see a lot more of the cracking along the grain.